Hello folks, what's up? Today is a very important day for me. After so many years, I finally decide to upload my first video in YouTube. As you can see on my account details, I uh, opened this account back in 2007 and it took me almost 17 years in order to decide to start making videos in YouTube. To be honest with you, I don't know why it took so long to me to decide that. But anyway, the idea for the first video came from a problem one of my colleagues had with uh, his Photoshop. And more specifically, this famous uh, message, this unlicensed application will be stopped soon and following by some advertising or the prices or the reduced prices lately at least and uh, I will show you what I did in order to help him to overcome this problem to be again honest with you my colleague had a paid subscription uh, for uh, his Photoshop um, application and uh, this problem does not appear only if uh, you have an unlicensed copy of the application uh, it appears to uh, register and license copies as well. So, uh, to be very clear, I'm not support the use of any pirate software or unlicensed software. There are many people working in these companies and they need to get paid for what they do for their job. Pricing is a different issue and we can talk about in a future video. But uh, in any case, if you need, if it is crucial, if it is mission crucial uh, for you, uh, mission critical, let's say, uh, better, to use this application and you have this problem, uh, I will show what you do to uh, overcome this issue. Uh, a small detail though, uh, my friend using Asset uh, antivirus software and more specifically asset smart security and the premium version as well so uh, I end up uh, to a very easy solution uh, using the asset software um, in order to overcome the problem with Photoshop and you can do it of course for any other of Adobe applications or any other applications in general. So let's begin to see the problem first and then the solution. So now folks, let us concentrate to the problem. The problem comes like this. As soon as you launch the application, in our case, Adobe Photoshop, the application latches and uh, a message appears on the screen after a few seconds and as soon as the application contact the Adobe server that this Adobe unlicensed application will be disabled soon. Let me make a small parenthesis here uh, saying that if you try to close the application uh, that cannot happen. Uh, you need to go to the task manager, spot the application, right click on it and select uh, the uh, end task command in order to do that. In uh, some cases, the application seems to be closed, but uh, the message informing you about uh, the unlicensed application, which it will be uh, soon be disabled, stuck in front of you on the screen. And if you go to the task manager, you will discover that this application is still running. In any case, go to the task manager, spot the application and kill it uh, from there. Uh, let me uh, demonstrate the, this problem to you now, but uh, first, in order to do that more effectively, let me get rid of this extremely beautiful face, uh, take it off the screen in order you not to be distracted. So, now that uh, everything is set, let me launch the application and uh, show you what uh, I mean.
So the application is launching. That just give it a couple of minutes. So the application uh, it launches, it launches here, and uh, if you wait a uh, couple of seconds or at least six seven seconds, uh, as soon as the uh, the application contact the Adobe server, the message will appear. Let us see uh, when the uh, message will appear. It takes some time. Ah, here it is. Here's the message I mentioned to you. This unlicensed application will be disabled soon. Switch to general Adobe application with uh, special discounts today. So, uh, in, if you try to do anything else inside the application, this frame I mentioned to you earlier appears, you know, uh, emphasize the fact that this application has been already disabled in order to prevent you to do anything else with the application. And if you try to uh, uh, close the application, this uh, close button seems to be active and uh, nothing happened. You cannot close the application. What you have to do uh, is go uh, to the task manager and uh, spot the application, Adobe Photoshop, and, you know, end task. So now we recreate the problem. Let's see what we can do in order to uh, solve it. As I mentioned to you, uh, I did that using uh, the, uh, the assets mass security, which I'm using also. And I will see, I will show you what to do uh, in order to, uh, to prevent this message and make the application working, uh, working again as usual. So what you have to do is uh, run the assets smart security or the premium version if you have one and uh, let me demonstrate the steps you need to follow uh, in order to solve the problem. But again let me take my face uh, off the screen in order you to uh, have a, a better view of what uh, I'm doing here. So you uh, you can open the asset as usual, and you need to go to setup here from the uh, the left uh, the left list. Go to the setup tab, press it, and then go to the network protection. Just left click on it and find firewall. On the firewall, you will see a little gear here, which is the properties. Just open it and go to configure. You will see a bunch of command here. Don't uh, touch anything, just spot the tab firewall, you have four tabs here, network access protection, network inspection, firewall, network attack protection, blah, blah, blah. Go to the firewall, you will see this screen here. Just expand the firewall category and go to rules. On the right hand, you will see the edit. Here you can find information of what is going on into this specific category. So go to the edit, you will see that it's, it's actually a hyperlink, just left click on it and you will see here the, uh, the menu for the rules. What uh, we will do is to actually create a rule saying to the firewall that a specific application, in our case the Adobe Photoshop, need not to be contact to anyone to um, into the internet so we prevent the application to contact uh, the adobe server you know in a few words so what you have to do is to go to add 
because we need to, uh, to add the application and the, this menu it appears to you go to the application tab click on it left click on it and on the application path just uh, help uh, the PC to spot the application you need to prevent from contacting uh, the internet in my case and because I have done it before it kept the path here and, and normally the uh, Adobe Photoshop application is on the, your local disk uh, whichever it is on the program files in the Adobe folder and you have to spot the Adobe Photoshop if you you know scroll down you will find the application just left click on it select it and click open find the application just click OK and you will see here that this specific application is blocked in order to contact anyone outside this uh, Windows ecosystem you will see here the action is blocked of course you can uh, disable this command anytime from the asset software again if for some reason you need the application to, uh, to contact the Adobe server. But let's see what happened in our case. We prevent the application to contact to the Adobe server. Just press OK and OK as an administration, administrator. Sorry. And you can kill the uh, asset application. So if you go and launch Photoshop again, as soon as the application will launch, you will see that it's working. And uh, if you try to do anything, it will let you, you know, use the application as normal. Let me uh, try to remove the background from this uh, screen, um, this picture I download from the internet. So the application, it's it seems. Uh, to working perfectly you know I can try to change the color or something uh, or do uh, anything just uh, write down a text stuff like that so the application it's working perfectly so let me uh, close the application So now folks that we saw the problem and the solution a few things more first and foremost when you do that you don't have any updates available from Adobe because you prevent Photoshop from contacting the Adobe server that means that you cannot uh, download any updates for the software itself or any security updates uh, concerning the Photoshop second and equally important thing is that if for a reason you uninstall any of these two applications photoshop or asset smart security you need to repeat the whole uh, procedure from scratch from the beginning and do the procedure from scratch uh, i think uh, these two things uh, are very important Basically, uh, any solution I saw on the internet do exactly the same thing, preventing Photoshop from contacting Adobe in order uh, this message not to be appear on your screen, but more importantly, uh, you to be able to use this, uh, this application. Again, this is not a permanent solution. You need to sort it out any problem you have with uh, your licensed software. Uh, in order to be able to use the software and uh, allow the software to contact Adobe because this is, uh, you know, it's very, it's very important and uh, this software has been designed to uh, uh, to contact uh, the Adobe server constantly and, uh, you know, as I said to you, uh, every solution comes to this 
prevent the software to uh, to contact internet, except for a solution, you know, messing with uh, registry, you know, uh, modifying keys on registry, and actually uh, let the software uh, contact uh, server and working, quote unquote, uh, as usual, but uh, unlicensed and um, you know. Uh, prevent the message himself to uh, to appear on your screen. Uh, basically, if you have any other combination, for instance, Photoshop and uh, Big Defender or Norton or uh, any other uh, uh, internet security software, uh, you can do the same. Spot firewall and add a rule you know, excluding this application from conducting internet. Let me uh, know on the comment section below uh, if you want to do uh, such a video uh, or so. So, uh, that's it uh, for the first video. Uh, basically, as I told you, uh, I helped my colleague to sort it out the situation. Uh, as far as I know, I have already contacted Adobe and sorted out uh, the problem he had with uh, his paid version, so yeah, he's not uh, needing uh, this solution anymore. But any case, uh, uh, that's it. In case that you liked uh, my first video, just you know, hit the famous button. In case that you don't like it, just you know, hit the uh, less famous button. But in any case, any criticism is uh, more. Uh, then welcome and uh, hopefully uh, I will see you all on my next video. Uh, if you want to take the risk, you know, subscribe to my channel and until next time, you know, love the moment folks and uh, be safe, be well, until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.